What is up guys and welcome to a new series where I use money making guides from the OSRS wiki. If you guys enjoy this idea, I'll definitely make more and try to run through every single one of these on the list, no matter how ridiculous they might be. I'll be trying and testing out these money makers to see how accurate they are so you don't have to. Let's get into the video. So for this video I thought we'd do collecting blue dragon scales. Now it is highly recommended that you have 70 agility because that will unlock a shortcut that I will be using throughout the entire video. And as you can see here it shows that the profit is about 449k an hour which is actually not that bad. And it says that we need to bring foul or teleports but the method that I'll be using we won't need those. And I'll also explain a different method, different method that you can use if uh, you don't have what I'm using. So before we get into it. Make sure you have your auto retaliate off, that is very important. And also come over here to the settings and make sure that this is always on right click, the NPC attack options, that's also very important. And for gear, I'm just wearing graceful, anything that reduces your weight is good, and do not forget the anti-dragon shield, that is very important. Now the method that I was using was fairly simple, all I did was I would teleport to Falador using a portal and a POH, I was using my own for this which is why I have the max cape. The max cape allows me to teleport to my house an infinite number of times, so I was saving a lot of money in that regard. And if you don't have a house of your own, what I recommend doing is going to world 330 and using somebody else's house. So instead of buying Falador teleports, I would buy home teleports. That way you can use that to go to someone else's home, use their pool to refill your stats, and then use the Falador portal in their home to get back to the bank. And then from the bank, you just run back to the dungeon and collect the blue dragon scales over and over again. Now, if for whatever reason you choose not to use the house method and use the Falador teleports instead, you're probably going to need some stamina potions because the run energy does deplete very fast. And keep in mind that I had 99 agility when doing this, so if you have under that, it's going to deplete even faster. And the reason I think the house method is superior is because stamina potions are really going to affect the total profit at the end. They're not very cheap. So just keep that in mind. Also, if you choose to do this uh, money making method without 70 agility, it's really going to hurt your profits because you're going to have to take the long way around this dungeon and you're also going to need a dusty key. And just overall, you'll be collecting less of these blue dragon scales, so the profit will be far less lower. When I was collecting these blue dragon scales, I actually realized that these dragons sometimes can hit very hard. Um, I have 99 defense and of course the only defense armor I had was that shield that's protecting me from the dragon fire which again is very important do not leave without that and they were hitting me a lot of times I didn't die I didn't have to activate any prayers but if you have low HP and low defense you might want to activate protect from melee that might help you out and might help you survive longer at the end of this video I will be showing the profit that I made from this and since I am using a method that not everybody will have access to I will factor in the cost of house teleports or Falador teleports depending on which method you want to use. I probably won't calculate the cost of super energies or staminas because I just, I really don't think you should use that method. I think using staminas and super energies are just going to hurt your profits more when you can be using the house teleport instead. As far as the series goes, I'd like to say that I've actually gotten a lot of positive feedback on this. so. Of course I will keep making these videos and again if you guys have any ideas for what money maker you want to see me do next, do not be afraid to leave it in the comments because I would love to read through all of them and actually do your suggestions. I also got a nice little shout out from the OSR's wiki uh, Twitter page so I just want to thank them for that right here. And if you guys aren't already following me on Twitch, or Twitter I mean, actually both, yeah follow me on both, but Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter at lollyatrs and of course I'll link all that stuff down below. And here we are in the video. Towards the end, one hour has been completed. And as you can see, I completed the one hour with a few inventory spaces left. So I thought, why am I gonna tell you out of here when I can just grab a couple more for a couple more GP, right? Hopefully you guys don't get too mad about that, but uh yeah, I'll factor that out in the end if you guys really want to be that, you know, strict about it. But I decided to just pick up pick up a couple more because I didn't want to miss out on any, you know, GPs. Because when you're doing this method, you're not going to tally out until you have a full inventory, right? So hopefully, hopefully it's okay with you guys. But yeah, here we are at the end of the video. Uh, looks like we have 616 blue dragon scales. That's actually not bad. I think that's more than the wiki had suggested that you were going to get. So I guess I was a little more efficient. And then there's me taking out the eight that I took after the hour. So 
if you guys want to <laughs> do a price check separately on those two. But together it's 514k, not bad. And if we take out those 8 dragon scales, then it'll be 508k. So still a really good moneymaker, I think. Half a mil is not bad at all. Then here I am just putting them in the GE. I was going to put them a little under market and a little over the OS Buddy actively traded price, and I just let them sit there for a while. So I put them in for 824 coins, and I just let them sit for about an hour. I think it took about an hour for them to sell. But yeah, that is one hour of collecting blue dragon scales for a total profit of around 507k. I gotta say, I was expecting less than that. So half a mil for just collecting blue scale, that's not bad. The only requirement really being the agility, and then, of course, you can either use your own house or you can just use someone else's house in World 330 with house teleports. Now, I will go ahead and calculate the total profit if you're using a different method. With my method, really, there was no supplies that I had to buy. I was just using the infinite teleports from the Max Cape. And really, the only thing I bought was the Dragon Shield, which is very cheap. It's under a K. And when you're done with it, you can sell it back. So there's really no cost for me. But if you're using somebody else's house and you have to buy house teleports, uh, you would use approximately 22. That's how many trips I made uh, to and from the dungeon. So we'll calculate the cost of 22 house teleports and then subtract that from the total profit that I got. So if we get the total cost of house teleports, each being 485 coins, and we multiply it by 22, we get a total cost of supplies being 10,670 GP. And then if we subtract that from the total profit of 507,584 coins, we get 496,914 GP. So just under half a mil. I just want to say thanks guys for checking out the video. Like I said before, a lot of good feedback on this series. I hope to do a lot more videos regarding the OSR's Wiki Moneymakers. So again, if you guys have any ideas for what moneymaker you want to see me do, just leave it down in the comments below. And I'll do my best to try and get to every single one of those. Thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you guys next time.